my mother has always been a farmer. Uh, I think throughout our, my growing up, I can't remember any time we bought tomato or onion or cabbage. They were just being grown here, bananas, potatoes and everything. So basically that's, I've just been fed on fresh food from the farm since I was born. I don't believe that there is any county in Kenya where agriculture will not remain as the backbone. When uh, Africa Lead called uh, for Champions for Change Training, I had just retired from formal employment. And what attracted me to apply to be a trainer is basically the focus on agriculture. Africa Lead in the first phase of devolution uh, started off uh, with 20 counties where Africa Lead uh, trained uh, various top executives on uh, their change of mindset in the context of uh, food security. This has attracted demand at the ministry level and even the Swedish government through their upcoming program, uh, Agriculture Sector Development Support Program, that shall be implemented uh, in all the 47 counties. The German government also came up and they, they are starting a new program in six counties and therefore they requested whether Africa Lead could facilitate in terms of sharing lessons learned and uh, the impact of this program. And based on this and the various consultations with the two uh, programs, they were able now to adopt and customize the curriculum which is now already being rolled out in all the 47 counties. Champion for Change uh, training is very important to Kenya because it is a training that was meant to create a critical mass of the people, both at national and county level, that understand the importance of uh, championing for the planners to include issues of agricultural development, thinking of how to bring about food security and enhancement and commercialization of agriculture. <laughs> Champions for Change uh, course or program is very good uh, specifically in the agriculture sector. Through it we shall build capacities through which county, uh, county governments can be supported to make good agricultural plans which they can feed into the county integrated development plans and therefore it can feed into the county work plans and budgets. There is a lot that still has to be done for agriculture. So limiting uh, the, the training to 22 would uh, deny the other 25 counties that key knowledge that was coming out from this uh, training. Food security is very important. It is foundational and if any country is able to even grow economically, it has to start with food security. So, remember this one of the sessions you were doing Trainers like uh, Nancy Tuo have been uh, like the backbone of these uh, trainings in the 20 counties. <laughs> Through Africa Lead and the collaboration with uh, the German, the ministry and the Swedish government, we, we trained the 60 uh, trainers, the first crop of trainers. The 60 trainers are, are now going to cascade to each individual county. So at any given individual county, there will be a critical mass of trainers, such that each county shall be more or less independent and at any one time they are able to train and even go down to the sub-county and ward, ward levels to create this transformation. The impact will be very, very high because at the, bot the bottom line is Kenya to improve food security, productivity, and to a great extent, focus on nutrition. So if this is spread through the training that we did because it targeted all the 47 uh, that were in the ASDSP program, I think that is going to be another milestone in this country. <laughs>